Vivek Janjiani strikes a good balance of work and play as head of India's leading toy company Pleasant Time Products. He's a regular at the Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair, an event he has visited since the 90s. Here it's a combination of imports, distribution, sourcing. So it gives you a wider variety of suppliers, definitely uh, at every category level. Definitely it was, um, the experience has been very good, it's been very professional. The variety that you see here, you don't get to see in many places. That feature also caught the attention of Kidlu, a fast expanding toy shop in India. I was amazed myself to see so many variety of toys. After coming here, I realized they are much better quality and customers do require these kind of products. The demand for toys in India is huge. According to the Toy Association of India, 20% of the nation's population is between 1 and 12 years old. Further research revealed that India's toy industry is expected to grow some 30% by 2015 along with the rising demand from the middle class. Already finding success in that demographic, Kidlu is now India's number one toy store. In 2011, we formed this company out. We started off online. From there, we've been online for two years and then we started off getting into the offline model as well. We have opened our first experience retail store in Hyderabad. We plan to establish more such retail stores pan India. We plan to establish about uh, 70 such stores in the next three years' time period. Despite the more than 300 brands already available at this store, Kidlu is still looking to add more as well as develop their own label. We look for two things. One, directly import the brand which is available here to the Indian market. Second, we, uh, we are looking at a customization of the product in our own brand name which, and the pricing was very aggressive. Given the fast opportunities in India, Indian buyers are increasingly busy at the Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair. Looking at India as a population and its um, purchasing power growing up, you will see a big difference. And therefore, the perception of Indian buyers and the importance given to Indian buyers is very different from a few years ago. Educational toy specialist Bella Duck has listed India as a key market, a shift in focus following recent economic turmoil in the West. India is still a growing market for us, so we just started there. Um, but we receive a lot of inquiries from all over India, especially from Delhi, Mumbai, but also from, from Bangalore. There's a growth of 40% per year, actually. So more and more companies are interested in, in getting more material. Those inquiries will hopefully turn into sales and boost Belladuck's Indian customer base from the current 5% to 15% in the coming five years. Take them serious. You can do good business with them. Um, at the beginning, at all business relationships, you have to invest a lot. You have to give them also some advice. You have to come together. But be open. India is a nice country with nice people and a good company to do business with.